In this video, I'm gonna show you a quick guide on how to use this furniture template that I made for plan. Keep in mind, this template is made for quarter inch scale on Arc D and Arc E paper size, which is the standard architectural paper size in the US. And quarter inch to a foot is also one of the most common scale you'll find in a drawing set. This furniture workflow is predicated on my plan templates. So make sure you've downloaded that first, which I have linked in the description below. Please also watch the template tutorial above as well. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is download the template and save that in your iPad gallery. The sample project is on 24 by 36 inch paper and quarter inch scale. And you can see that on the bottom of the canvas. So make sure you're using the right template to match the paper size. Next, bring in the template as a private photo so you can hide it in your time-lapse video. So I'm looking for a twin bed, a queen bed, a round table, and a small sofa for this plan. I'm going to find that in the template first. And when I do, using the selection tool, make a selection of this object and hit copy and paste in the menu bar. This is going to make a copy of it and put it on a new individual layer. We're going to repeat the same process for other furniture we need. Just make sure when you need to copy something, you do it on the original template layer. Otherwise, you might get a number of blank copies. Once all the furniture are on their own layer, you can turn the template off. Now we're just gonna move them to where they need to be on the plan. You can easily rotate, flip it horizontally or vertically as you need. Once they're in place in your layer structure, you can either group them into a folder or what I like to do is to merge it into a single layer. And if at any point you need to move them around, you can still select them individually and move it around without moving all the object on the layer. There are other things in the drawing that are less important to be drawn in scale, like rugs, smaller household items, plants, and etc. So I like to draw those freehand at the end. I personally think it's pretty helpful to have these furniture in scale at hand, so I don't need to look at their size on Google every time I'm drawing. So that's it. If you like this video, by all means, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching again.